All right. Kevin? Lead us in, Kevin. I think we should do, do a it show in where we'll or, or, as, or is Kevin the guest? Oh, yeah, Kevin's yeah, the guest. Yeah, he be the guest. All right. Ben's doing the intro All right, this time. here we go. Count me down, Kevin. I, I got to post real quick. What Seriously? are you doing? You're posting? Yeah. That's my job. I'm a social media influencer. God damn it. You're a social media influencer? Is that what you're in position? Right? Really? You know that's Court. all he does is... I know. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm ready. I'm ready! Someone's jazz. Look at him. He's so excited. Three, two. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. We are your geeks and we are behind the counter. That's how it works. Both right. of those are true statements. Yes. I am Ben. I'm George. Jack. I'm the Kevin. He's escaped. The yes, Kevin here. is back. I'm back. He's I'm back. back from behind the camera. Camera. Not behind they, here. Our, our guest canceled last minute, so what I jumped guest? over. What guest? That should be your new show, Behind the Camera. Behind oh. the Camera with Kevin. It's all don't the behind the thinking. scenes of behind the counter. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Is that going to be my third show? Yeah. Start it and cancel uh, by myself? Oh, yeah. yeah. You can watch all of them on our YouTube channel. Anyways, we've got some toys to talk about. Lots of toys. You ready for this, Kevin? Yes, I am. All right. That's why uh, I want to be on the show. That's why He's I want to be on the show. been ready. I want That's to talk about today's So toys. the first thing we're going to talk about is we're going to we're going to do a mail call. Oh, all right. Okay. And all right. A, male call. And a female call, really. Oh. oh. <laughs> all right. So I backed uh, this Kickstarter. Amazon boxes. Yes. No. What? They're, they're, I backed this Kickstarter. They're called nudies. Mm -hmm. I think you backed these, too. I did. Um, <laughs> so Nudie. since the early days of toy making, genitals have been consciously rejected. And so, feeling Please ashamed and misunderstood, the dark factory basement became their only home. The neglected parts were doomed to hide forever, but two brave genitals risked it all to realize their day, uh, their dreams and become toys. And therefore, funny. we have the nudies, everyone. Um, so clearly, uh, there are two nudies. Of course. Nagavi. <laughs> Nagavi. Okay. And Nipes. What? Oh! <laughs> Kevin just got it. Oh wait! Uh, like literally for the hey, first time, he got it. Hold on, we have a problem. What happened? Because the uh, come on, Jack. <laughs> I'm just laughing too hard. But he's like, oh wait, what? Oh! Are you that excited? I'm back on the show. No. <laughs> oh you know, this reminds me of a certain classic toy. A classic toy? Sort of, just the shape. What does it remind you of? Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> oh. Really? And Mrs. Of. Potato Head? Yeah. So oh, this is God. this is Nipes. Yeah. And and what's the other the and the names are on the bottom. It's also the N word the, the letters of the word vagina and penis spelled into different things. Oh, oh. like an anagram. Nagavi gotcha. and Nipes. Okay, so there you go. Now I've said what they are. One is a vagina, one is a penis. There you have it. Oh and types. <laughs> you guys, woo! Wow. Takes a minute, huh? Maybe two. So, as you'll notice, this is the uncircumcised version. I don't know if there's ever going to be another one or not, but how very European of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, is it from Europe? No, they're not. I uh, don't think so. No, um, it says, uh, born in New York City, 2018, oh. on the bottom of these. Oh, oh. Now, here's the the one complaint I have about these, and I understand why they did it, but okay. there's no butts. Oh. I wish they had a little butt. That would be nice. Is it a technical it, reason it, why there's no Well, t technically, they're the genitals from dolls that were never made, or, do you know, the, the never made genitals from dolls. Dolls have butts, so why would they put the butt uh, on here? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. So it, it makes sense. I understand why they're not there, but I think it would be cuter if it had a little yeah. butt. Yeah. Yeah. At least like a little. Yeah, just, just a little. Just a little. So do we know anything about like the artist or company behind these? The, so the the artist is actually, they, they make some really cute stuff. Like along really? with along with um, the figures, they actually included uh, some, stickier, some stickers, uh, some like little... Postcard stuff, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, but you can actually find out more information at nudies.com. Okay. Uh, spelled Do they have the way. Other toy lines? Make no, sure right. you no, spell this is their it first correctly. Toy. Yeah, I'm well, sure you're gonna go somewhere. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you 
you go to the one that's spelled the way it's supposed to be spelled, otherwise it might take you to another. And so was it Kickstarter like wildly successful, mildly successful? Um, Box is cool. Don't remember. I think, I think mildly successful. Mildly. Like they hit their goal, clearly. Okay. But I think it was kind of hard for them to do it. Okay. Um, but you know, these kind of send the message of like, look, these are not for everyone, no. clearly. Jack, I know you love them. Oh yeah. Um, but Kevin it, especially. But loves I them. think the message yeah. is. Once he figured out what it was. Yeah. I think I think the <laughs> message is more so like, look, you know, nobody really makes these. Yeah, and no. So I it's, think it's. I can see their point. So. Yeah. Oh, we, we're uh, we're gonna look it Did up. Did they so. come in different editions? No, they, they had. Um, they had a. It looks goal. like they just made it. So it was. They had a goal of fifteen thousand. They made sixteen thousand nine hundred eighty-two. So it was right. barely successful. Two hundred forty-five backers, two of which are in this room. Okay. Right. Um, I I love this thing. They do say that they will eventually make. They want to do other. Hopefully, hopefully they raise enough to do other skin tones. Okay. Because yeah. they do show other skin tones in the campaign. Oh, that's good. Um, uh. So because they don't want to make it just these. You know, baby doll flesh. Right. Like, right, 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 right. They do have other ones in the works. But I think the art is really cute. Yeah. I, I really like, I mean, even in the art, they do have other skin tones in there. Okay. Um, and some of them not in that It's supposed section. to be more, I think, of an educational thing than anything. This, yeah. You know, this isn't yeah. supposed to be anything perverse. Right. And, you know. It, it's art. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, you know, they, they are limited edition. So to I'm glad I backed it. They're great vinyl figures, which I appreciate. Touch the, touch the. Oh, Kevin, okay. don't, don't, just, yeah. Anyway. I, I don't want to touch this. You can uh, and they were 25, 25 bucks each. Yeah. Oh, they're cheap. No so, wonder. So, super good price. Yeah. And I believe oh, yeah. that was including shipping. It's yeah. a pretty simplistic thing. So yeah, you but, you know, it's like they're still no, yeah, a paint. $25 and, is a good deal. Yeah. And it was actually the, for the early birds, which I think I got in under. It was thirty nine bucks for both. For, for both. both, yeah. Oh wow! So I'm yeah. kind of the reason why I asked a little bit about who they were, right? Is, I mean, I guess just because they thought it was fun or whatever. They've got like holographic stickers and all on it. Which yeah, I mean, they they put a little quality the, into the this. The packaging is great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, super thick box. Yeah. Looks like yeah, Amazon. No, yeah, I don't know. I think these are cute. I, I love them. They're on my shelf at home already. Like, I have mine out. And now that we review them, I can take these home. Finally. All right, guys. Cool. Well, so from one I'm vag sure. to another. Oh, oh my George. gosh. What? This is the vag series. <laughs> V-A-G. How do, you, how do you say it? V-A-G. V-A-G. Uh, okay. V-A-G. It's Vaju. Vaju. Uh, I already pulled out what we're going to be looking do at. Do you want... Uh, no, Kevin, put it... All right, fine. Anyway, we wanted to show, like, if you come into 3D Retro, this is how it's done. You, you kind of just, like, take a blind box or a blind capsule blind out of capsule. here, and this is the way you do it. So, George already picked some Let's out. Let's put that on the floor behind us back there. Ah, good idea. Yeah. Yes, you yes, yes, thank you. Okay. Do we care what color everybody wants? No, So, just wait, we're each taking one out of here, right? No, no. That's what Kevin did. <sighs> no, we got okay. See, this one's yours. I'm just joking. No, I'm just give me one. Where's mine? I'm just. You can get trouble. to pick one. There you go. Wait, I think this is rogue. Oh, what? what? All right. Yeah, anyway, never mind. these are gusher bomb series thirteen. Wow, they went series gusher thirteen bomb. already. Oh, they're like series like sixteen or seventeen. All right. So we're gonna be looking off camera for a second because we just had a studio guest walk in. Yo, yo, it's your boy Kano! Yo, Kano! Kano! Kano. <laughs> Follow me on uh, Instagram, at Kano Kid. Boom. Right there, boom. Just every episode. <laughs> something. He's just here. Thank you, Sky Voice. Thank you. <laughs> we had to acknowledge it. It was happening. This is from Milk Boy Toys. Oh! Yeah, these are cool. From, this is Series 15. I actually totally think they're got. up to like Series, this series is purple. What color you got? Got the green? What series is this? I like 13. What do you got? 13. Okay. I yeah. think they're up to like Series 17 or 18 already. Something like that, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow, this is really good. And so yeah, these are the VAG, like and then they're also making like the, the JAMs. Nice. Now the JAMs, what, what Metacom has done, by the way, these are by Metacom. Um, They've taken the best-selling Vaju toys, and they're making them into jumbo figures. Wait, now, the what toys? Jam. 
The jam toast. The jam. No, the other one. Vajou. Vajou. Okay. He doesn't want to say vag, and it's it's. I don't I think, think anybody. Vag is a more correct pronunciation. I don't no, think anyone says it. They all say vags. Vags, whatever. But it's vajou. It's Does your bad. guys stand? No. Uh, yes. Mine stands. Mine stands. Uh, you see yours? Yeah. <laughs> Try a little harder. Nope. A little harder. A little harder. Hold on. There you go. Well, it's like two bucks, right? So these five. go for these go for about five hundred oh, yen. Yeah. So five bucks. So about five dollars, a little under five dollars. So cheap. Has a little bit of articulation in the head. You can twist the heads, uh, but that's about it. Are these cool, solid PVC bodies with vinyl heads? What are these? I don't. I, don't know. I mean, if anyone would know, it's you, George. But it's they're kind of taking the head off. Yeah, I, I want to. Okay. Okay. What do we got? What do you think? Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> it's not coming <laughs> off easy. I mean, look, for five bucks, which is basically cheaper than most blind boxes out there. No, it's a really good deal. It's a really good deal. And, and the paint's like nuts, dude. <laughs> yeah, the paint is really good. Um, it's, it's funny, like, bucket. so in this series, there was a Bakaton. I think it's the way you pronounce it, Bakaton, Bakaton. But that's one of the pieces that they made into a jam, or J-A-M, a jumbo one. So, and... In this, oh look, Wamu was in the series as well. What? Yeah. That's so cool. The the Vajou pieces are awesome, <laughs> and no one says Vajou. Vajou. Um, I think it's both Roto. I think that's a Roto. It's just so small that it feels solid. No, it actually feels like soft. Yeah, like you I can mean, you can squeeze the body. It's just too little. It's just too little tiny Roto. But that's such a cool little piece that they were able to pull that like that. I like this piece. Um, sculpting is really nice on it too. Look at that zipper on the back, like his little he's yeah. a, something yeah. in a bear suit. Yeah, he's not a bear. Is it supposed to be like he's some a, creepy a perv human. in a yeah. Yeah. bear the, suit? The full size version. The, a there's a bear head that pops off, and there's a head. There's a human underneath. That's pretty uh, cool. I want to sculpt a little human head for this tiny one. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do it? <laughs> well, I like these guys. So They're if dope. you if you like, uh, these are really nice. V A G. Come to 3D Retro to 3D and buy them. And we've got them. We've got, and are they're they actually available. Too? Uh, I don't know if we have them online, Probably not. but there are a couple of other <laughs> retailers, I including like companies like uh, I think Roto Fuji carries them and things like that. Yeah. So they'll so come to 3D Retro though. But check your local retailers. 3D and Retro. Love that. Oh, thank you, Kato. There's that voice again. There it is. Uh, let's go ahead and do something bigger. Bigger. Jack. You got something big over there for us? Oh God! Oh yeah. my Which God. one? Something maybe? I have two. <laughs> two. Oh. Let's do oh, a oh, oh. Oh. this one. Let's do. <laughs> let's do the king size. Oh God! All right. Oh, here we go. I don't know about you guys, but I've been waiting for this guy. Uh, this is the king size kill cats from Andrew Bell. Cool. And um, if you guys know, uh, these are the evil wafers. Uh, the original versions, which are like. Wow! <laughs> hey, are we really uh, gonna open this? It's it's te it's technically already open. Oh, okay. Um, so just like the original ones, they come in the Kill Cat packaging. The original one is this big, right? And it came in a, it came in like a packaging package like, like this. Uh, there's all kinds of fun things in the back here, like expire six six six. Um, you know, total demon six six six. Sugar, uh, 999 grams. Um, so, open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Come See, open he missed it. the boat. He could have done actual king size Kit Kats first, like make them just this a little thing? bigger. No, and then this could be like, you know, every like Halloween they put out Gigantic. the jumbo candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, he could have done the regular king size oh, and yeah, then put out awesome. a third size. Put a three inch. <laughs> well, how do you know he's not going to? Do more sizes. That's awesome. That is cool. So if this is your movie theater Kit Kat, <laughs> this is your Halloween one foot Kit Kat. That's really cool. This is your stay home. These are really, really cool. Kit Kat. Jack, do you remember how much these cost retail? The big ones? Yeah. No. I uh, wanna... Is there a 150? Are they 150? Yeah. I want to say Holy they're like cow. around 150. Yeah, 150. they're not. They're not cheap, but honestly, they're totally worth it. They sell really well, you know. 
I mean, well, yeah, the little ones are so popular. This is the cappuccino version. This is the three D retro exclusive. Oh, there you go. Um, we yeah. found a new teddy bear. Yeah, this is dope. That is thank really. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That one's mine. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Just it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, when he released them, he debuted them at DesignerCon. I think people were pretty shocked and happy. No, Kevin. No, Kevin. No, Kevin. Kevin. No. Oh, Kevin. A kill cat exactly eating a kill cat. Of what ben says. No. <sighs> Anyways, so there Here's you have it. Live by. Uh, George, what do you think? One hundred thirty bucks. Um, I don't okay. know. I. I'm off by twenty bucks. <sighs> but it's twenty bucks less than what you were expecting, so that's always good. Yeah. I feel like the detail got a little bit softer when it went bigger. Oh, like the indentation of the kill cat yeah, words? Like just everything kind of got a little soft. But mm. interesting. I don't know. Do you think it was because it was maybe a digital sculpt and they just like blew it up and so it loses Shit. some detail? Maybe. Shit. No, it does that. Does like, it? Yeah, one thing that I've actually learned from George is that when you do a digital sculpt, yes, it's easy to blow it up. Yes, it's easy to make it a bigger size. Yeah. But let's say you make the original sculpt for like seven inches and then you blow it up to like 24. Okay. If the detail's not really highly detailed for the seven inch, when you blow it up to a two foot figure or twenty four inches, you lose really a lot of that detail, right, so George? You should definitely like yeah. It should you should sculpt for the size that it's going to be, knowing ahead of time how big it's going to be to know what kind of detail to put in. Mm, I mean, okay. the same thing happens when you downsize. Like if you have a large figure, it's got so much detail. Okay. And then you downsize oh, it. Right. I mean, it could oh, right. really you get. See that. It, it right. is like it's just like it's not even in there. It's so just it's like really not the. It's but that's really the thing. Not the you don't notice it. of vectors, George. Say it again. Sorry. It's really not. So when you do like three D modeling, right? You have a three D digital sculpt of something, and then you make it bigger. It's not like the same like lossless processes when you do like. Vector images. I, you know what? I really, I, I'm not, I'm not really the guy to ask about that. I have no, okay. I, I don't really know. I just know that like, usually when I'm working with my sculptors who do digital, mm -hmm. they all tend to ask how big is this going to be because they need to know how much detail to put into it. I see. That makes sense. So yeah. you're kind of sculpting it for the size it's going to be, and right. I don't know. It like could ultimately. Yeah. If you're thinking like, oh, I'm making this a seven inch, but maybe I want to make one twenty inch, or make one one two foot. And I mean, you, you can always, when this gets output, you can always go in and tighten it up. In, yeah, that's in the true. End. And I don't know, maybe it could have also been part of the process when they did, or maybe he wanted it like that. We don't know. I mean, it's not horrible. No, it's just no, it's, it's just cool. softer. It that's still all. looks it still looks great. I mean, you could even tell like here the feet are roto vinyl, where here they're PVC because they have to be because they're smaller. Mm -hmm. Isn't it's it one piece? It's one piece. Yeah, they're roto, pulled roto vinyl. But here, it's like two pieces PVC. So, I mean, these are just technicalities of making this toy, but I think for what it is at 130, you get a pretty damn cool toy. And they are limited edition. So, there are going to be different flavors, there are going to be different colors. So, just look for those at your different retailer stores that had exclusives before as well. All right, what do we have next? All right. I, I like the small one better, I gotta say. I thought I was gonna really like this huge one. Like I was looking forward to seeing it. You prefer the small? I just, uh, yeah, something the about small the small one, one looks, the detail, looks cooler to me. The details. Plus Cap I think I have more room for these on my shelf than I would well, for these. Yeah, Cappuccino? For sure. If I was gonna try and collect those giant ones, I'd be out of luck. Did you get one, uh, George? Yeah, I made sure yeah, George got, got his Cappuccino. Yeah. All right. I saw it on eBay. Uh, should we, uh, Wait, what should was we do some blind box maybe? Yeah. Oh, blind box. Oh. Right, I'll take this one, I guess. Oh, the kaiju battle. What is this, Kevin? Kaiju. Tell us. This is kaiju dunny battle. Kaiju dunny battle. Oh, kaiju battle dunny. Kaiju dunny battle battle dunny. It's actually, kaiju dunny battle. Ka uh, oh, kaiju dunny battle. Yeah. This is new from Kid Robot, presented by Clutter, featuring artists Jeff Lamb, Rampage Toys, Candy Bolton, James Groman, Buana Spoons, and. Uh, I'm so sorry. Chaskowski. How's it? I don't know. Chaskowski. Didn't he win like a customizer of the year one year? He did. He did. I like the box art. Very nice. Oh, I got lamb. Did you get lamb? 
Jeff Ram. Who's that? What do I get? Oh, Wait, mine oh, has man, man. attachments. I got one out of 24. Oh, oh sweet. I got the one I wanted. Which this is? is. Oh, Wana Smoons. Is this Wana? No. That's Chaskoskis. This is Chow. Baby G. Custom of Goosebacks. Which one did you get? I got oh, Wana. Wana Spoons. <laughs> nice. Rampage. That is a nice one. Oh, I mean, they're all pretty Wait, nice. What just happened? The ones I want to get. The ones I want to get is the uh, James Roman. N uh, no, th this who's this candy? Which bone? ones are candies? Oh, yeah. These. Oh yeah, Baku. oh yeah. I the want candy ones. bone ones. She has three. And then uh, two are Baku. I want one of the James Roman one, which is the blue one. The blue Godzilla. Actually, no. Who's who's this? That's him too, right? I think so. I he think did. He Roman, did a few, right? I. That's uh, not Jeff Lamb. That's Bolton, that one? actually. Which one? The dragon? I think. I think so. this is Chow 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 Custis. Okay. Did you Doesn't it look like accessory? a Jeff a Jeff Lamb though? No, the lambs come with accessories. Why? Well, this one has an accessory. This one has the wings. Oh, it does. But okay. look, it, this has a thing. This is a diorama. Yeah. It's like. It's a, a building for him to destroy. Yeah. Ah. It's like a city scene. So this one, that's Jeez. that's interesting. It has like. You put it on the arms and it's like... Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's really neat. These Let's are fun. Um, <coughs> so I think they go for the regular Dunny price of eleven ninety nine. I wish oh, they yeah. had cards. I, I, you what know, series came with cards? Uh, the Designer did. Con series. Um, Quite a few did back in the day. Most of them did. Yeah, most. most. What series that just came out before this one? <laughs> oh, boy. Just Kevin. Self plug, self plug, self plug. Kevin, oh, Kevin. Geez. Um, so it is. So that's okay. It's kind of cool. It's just the end of it. It's kind of weird that. Oh, that it's a collaboration. Gets in the way of the arms, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's a collaboration. That's yeah. George just pointed that out on the bottom yeah. of the feet. Way back when, like five or six years ago, he did like his version of um, Chuskoskis, who's a sculptor, did his version of Greasebat, oh, yeah. and that's what the basis of this is. Well, there so, you go. So the, so these guys are all kaiju artists. Right. Yes. I feel like everybody's doing this are like kaiju monster artists yeah. that makes and produce limited edition toys themselves. Yeah. And they did a dunny version of their toys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's clean, yeah. it's nice. What? Price points all right. Okay. What do you think, George? I'm we glad have, we, I'm we glad have. we got Kevin back. <laughs> he's really <laughs> he's really like putting it all putting it all together for us. Yeah. Thanks, Kevin. Be kind it's been, to it's Kevin. Been, it's been a year and change. Rampage think, toys. Right? A so year and change. It's been the whole season. A year and change. A year Plus and a change. Episodes. Hey, the, the print on the back is cool. It's to say baby... Baby G. Okay. All right. Baby G. G-Sha? I don't know. Hey, he took a dive. I do like this one. Yeah, I think that one's great. That's the stand. one I was looking forward to seeing in person, so I'm glad I got that one. Does this stand? Why is this backwards? That's cool. All right. All right, why move on. Let's. Uh, oh, I get it. You just, know what? Just stand balance. Can we? Uh, you got a. No. Nope. I'm strike. Do, you got that do? one twelfth over there. Yeah. Let's open that because I am looking forward to this one ever since I first saw it. Can you some spinach? Look who it is, guys. Who is it? It's Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh. <laughs> Is that the song? It's yeah. It sure is. I only the spinach. Because he eats his spinach, which is included in the box. It? No, I don't remember. Kevin's talking, so. This is the Mesco 112, which I love the 112 line. Popeye. Uh, so here's, here's the only thing that kind of gets me. You get this image of, like, the animated Popeye, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, awesome, Popeye. But then... When you look at the back and when you open the box, you realize it's a very, like, realistic, realistic human yeah. version of him. But I'm still okay with that. Wasn't this, wasn't there originally, like, a Popeye movie that was going to be made? And is this based on that? I don't know. Like, an, it was a, like, a computer Thanks animated. piling all the stuff in front of me. Because I swear I've seen this Popeye before. Maybe on YouTube or something, like... Wow, wow, that's a really good face. Look at that head. Looks really cool. And there's... Whoa. There's... No there's... So get this. It comes with... Here, let me see the, the back of the box. The cover. Yeah, hang on. Because it actually outlines everything that you get. 
you get six pipes. You get a compass. Oh. Six pipes, a compass, a spyglass, two spinach cans, two interchangeable heads, three interchangeable hats, um, a collector's base with the sailor symbol on it, a Popeye duffel bag, seven interchangeable hands. Gosh. Why are there other are pipes radically different? Are they just... Uh, there's not really. There's three that have smoke pop puffing out. Okay. Corn corn cob pipes, and then there's three regular. Maybe it's just in case you lose one, because they don't look really different at all. I love this. So I grew up with Popeye, and I I, I grew up watching like. Oh, wow, the cap's cool. Now it comes with a little sailor hat, and it also comes with like a little beanie hat. You oh. put the beanie on. Is that? And here's this little hat too. Uh, oh yeah, the other the other kind of sailor hat. Uh, <laughs> oh, are they okay. magnets too? Isn't he famous for this one? Yeah, he mostly wore like this one. Yeah, yeah that one. But that's so cool. Yeah. yeah, I love this. This is great. So how many heads are there? Two heads. Two? Okay. You gotta put the thing that. Yeah, I gotta get one. the pipe in. Yeah, take the oh, pipe out of that the one. The pipe head. Wait. They oh, both have. They have a hole? Yeah. Oh, it's just different expressions. This one's showing a little more teeth. And he's mm -hmm. got the one eye. Is that one two, two eyes open or one eye open? Uh, one eye open. So mm. how much is something like this? A um. <laughs> uh, hundred. I don't know. Let me see. I need to. I don't know. I don't know okay, offhand. Well, we can have our. They're usually editor, like. These up. figures are usually between 80 and 120. Oh, really? That's not too bad. Probably 120. So much. So there's, di so you can do different hands. So he can hold the spinach. Let's see. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, it's like, cool. I think it's cool. How much is it? One twenty. I'm, I'm so eighty bucks. Eighty dollars. Oh, wow. Totally so so worth it. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. So I'm like, I, I, I guess I'm a little biased because like I grew up with Popeye and I, I love it so much and. Honestly, there aren't that many Popeye figures. Look at that. It holds That's the, true. That's a good point. Actually. It holds the, the crushed can perfectly Ooh. in that hand. Look at that, too. The little compass actually folds. And then... That's pretty nice detail. So And then, like, the even the little duffel bag, it's like... George, is this, the, like, in line with, like, those figure arts? Look at that, too. Thanks. The telescope opens up. That's amazing. That's these pretty good. Nice. Like, yeah. You can, you yeah, can yeah, pose yeah. these. For sure. Yeah, these are basically like, they're they're the level of like one-sixth, like mm -hmm. Ashley Wood type toys. Yeah. Like the paint detail's really good. The sculpting's amazing. Just at a small They're just at a one-twelfth scale. Yeah. At a, yeah. yeah. yeah I no. really like these. The idea of one-twelfth is pretty cool. Yeah. And their clothing is always really nice on these. Like they have like... A lot of times when you scale down clothing, it looks bulky and weird because the stitching is going to be different because, you know, you're just you're okay. scaling down a human right. scale to, like, right, right. small. But you're still a lot of the time using large-scale things, so it looks weird, but they always get it really nice. The Mezco stuff is really nice. Does Mezco make 1.6 too? No, they just do the one. Like, they're, they're competing in the 112th market. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, it does. Okay, look at this. Oh, Actual spinach insane. for you to eat? No, it comes... <laughs> It comes with a peacoat. Nice. Oh. So you can actually hey, have. Stand. He can. He can. You can actually have him wear the peacoat. That's cool. That's. <laughs> and awesome. if you don't want to wear it, he could put it in his little laundry bag. Ooh. And put it over his shoulder. <laughs> well, it's a little big for the laundry bag. No, oh, it's not. Maybe you can fold it up. Um, I love this. And I think it's totally worth it. Like all the stuff that you get with it, and all the detail. Like, I am, I'm very impressed. Yeah. I think Mesco is doing an amazing job with these. Yeah. So. And I'm looking forward to the other stuff that they're producing. And like they, they like showed a lot of the new stuff that they're going to be making 112th at um, New Toy York Fair. Toy Fair. And man, I am excited. Which of that stuff caught your eye the most of their new stuff? Um, actually, you know the one twelfth one that I liked the most that they were showing was the they they live figures. Oh, oh yeah. wow, that's okay. gonna be cool. Those looked amazing. So 
Um, it's like they live like actively being pushed licenses because like Super Seven has. Like, Everyone's doing actually. it now. Yeah. 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 Super. What is that? I just pre-ordered a. Uh, I pre-ordered one of the 112s like uh, the other day. There, Mezco does. The, you know their bug character, Movie? their little mm -hmm. cockroach. Yeah. yeah. So they did a. They're doing a 112. Oh, version that's of right. Him. I saw that too. Of, of their bug character that they do, their little Mezco logo is the bug. Oh, okay. So it's like the it's 112. the 112th, but it's got the the cockroach okay. um, body. Does it come with like a lot of accessories? Yeah, it, it comes with like. I can't remember. It was like a stupid amount of hands. It was like, <laughs> did they? Are they pre-ordering that right yeah, now? Yeah, it's pre-order up yeah, on I'm their gonna site. Have, I'm gonna have to order. Let's, it's let's go on there and buy it now. Okay. I can at okay. least show you the. It comes with a stupid amount of hands. It comes with extra heads. Um, yeah, there it is. Gomez. So the you agent. know, one of the things that I'm kind of curious. Sold about, out. Look at this. Fourteen interchangeable hands. Jeez. With but it's already sold out. Four heads. But it's already sold out because they wanted all 14 hands. It's it's already sold out. Yeah. So, wow. You know, with the 112th and the 16th and all the insane amount of accessories and gear and clothes That's and why stuff. I want it. Is that really like I used to think that was a playability thing, but part of it for these licensed characters, especially the ones in movies, it's also like uh, like a scene recreation thing, yeah. right? Because you get that one person that's like, but I wanted it to look like this. Exactly like this. Like this. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, I love it. I'm it's very really happy cool. with it. I right. think Mesco is doing a great job. Okay. All right, so I think we got time for maybe one more, huh? That's do up to you. Time? Let's do it. Let's do it. I We're going over. Go. We're going long. We're going. You can't stop us now. Don't stop. Well, us we don't now. have a producer to tell us no. That's our producer, and he's fun. telling us we're going, and he's yeah. singing. It's Queen, huh? Pie right. time. Dessert time! Dessert. So this we haven't had this figure on at all yet, right? We have not had this figure right. on. This is the original cherry version. Okay. Is it the original? Which, yeah, I think cherry is the original version, cherry pie. Uh, this is from right. uh, yeah. Artist Noir, local artist uh, based here in Southern California. Yep. Uh, this is produced by Martian Toys. And... Um, I think a lot of these other versions have already been released, like the Atomic version was, I think, Strange Cat. Uh, but the Cherry version, I don't know if they're keeping it as an open edition. I believe they are. I think that's what was announced. Okay. It's one of those ones where when they sell out, they'll just go make more. Right. The box Which is the definition of open edition. Right. Check pattern. <laughs> that's kind of cool. See, that um, like 155, right? 150. Something like that. So, I love... I love Noir's art. I've actually always wanted to make a figure with her. Oh. Too bad, Aaron. Eat you to the punch. Well, there's no beating anyone to the punch. All right, let's go ask her to make a toy with us. Beat me to the punch. She beat you to the punch. That's what, what happens I? when you post things on Instagram. What? Oh. Sad. Is that a, is that a theory going around? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Little um, Scoopy? Did you introduce Little Scoopy? Little Scoopy. That, that now, the Scoopy, other thing yeah. that they're doing is they're actually selling uh, Little Scoopy in right, separate so. flavors. Yep. So they act, you can actually buy these individually without having to and buy the do, set. Do all the individual Little Scoopy flavors mm -hmm. match up with the big sets? They don't necessarily, right? No, no, not okay. really. No. Uh, it's just that there's lots of different flavors. I like the flavors. pie texture. It's cool. Yeah, it is. Don't do that. Yeah. It smells like toxic. It's vinyl toy. Ah, I know. You expect it to smell that's like That's childhood right there. No. Yeah, that's my childhood right there. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know I'm what? The eating. paint is clean. The sculpt is great. Yeah. I mean, I remember when these first came out, people were really blown away. Just yeah. Like, sort of like. These are great division. figures. What it's do you think? way bigger than I thought it was. I Like, when I first saw it, I was like, 150 whatever bucks. I was like, ugh. But this is huge. Yeah, no, they're really big. The, my only complaint on this whole thing, and mm -hmm. it's and it has nothing to do with the production or anything. It's just the design in, if, of the piece. I hate these white eyes. pieces on the eyes. Yeah, mm. yeah. I hate that. In, it's fine in a in a painting because it's showing like is as two D. It works really well, but in three D, I think that looks ridiculous. And it's just something I yeah. don't like personally. It's supposed to be like a highlight, right? Well, yeah, it's, but it's, it's just supposed to be natural light. Like when natural light hits the eye, yeah, yeah, it yeah. generates that yeah. automatically. Yeah, it you does don't look need odd. to. It's like, but you know yeah. what? The, the problem is, 
and we get this too, when an artist submits the vector file or whatever for the factory, yeah. they will draw things like that in or even shadows or yeah. outlines or anything. And yeah. then the factory will take it and be like, well, this is what Trying the artist the wanted literal, to print and yeah. paint and all that. So they will literally do that. Yeah. But it's not horrible. No, it's and it's supposed to be there. It needs to be there. It's part of the art. And I have no complaint about it. I just, for me personally, I don't like that thing. It, Actually, the, I think it's it, kind of distracting. It bugs me. Yeah, every time I look at it, it bugs me. But but overall, the piece is cool. It it really looks exactly like Noir's art. Yeah. Like, it's you know, perfect. Really it's really nice. Is these tiny little legs and the stems. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. That's what happens when you balance things. <laughs> hmm. And look you, at that. You can design things to balance. It's pretty amazing. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. All right. Moving on. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys think? I like it. It's cool. Really nice. So there's a couple of versions out already. This is the cherry it's version. There's one. an old-timey version. There's an yeah. atomic version that's already out. There's I a believe, brand new one that just came out. I believe they released last year a uh, blueberry pie version okay. for July 4th. I want to take one and take the pie out and put it in there and fix it. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, George. I no. want to rip that pie out of it so bad and jam it in that hole. No, so that but it's so so cool, the, like the little drippiness and all that in there. It's yeah, a really the nice figure. Of the pie is cool. What if you do this and then put, you know, the school BV in the hand? No, it's sure. One figure. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, maybe. <laughs> it's good. It's really nice. It's a. I, it's hard for me to. I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't buy it. Because of the price, for me, I don't really collect a lot of things that are that expensive. I love her art. Um, I like it. But I like this, the nostalgic it's a aspect. really great representation of that art. It really came out nice. It's a yeah. kitchen toy. Look, he's got a little yeah. butt. Yeah, it goes in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> a little butt. Um, all right, cool. Well, I'm glad we all agree. Really good. Cool. cool. It's pretty neat. I think that's it. I think we got to wrap it up. Oh, we got uh, We went through a lot of toys. Kano's over there, so bored out of his mind. A lot mind. of vaju. Kano's so. waiting for something. And uh, oh, your side hustle. My side hustle. Oh God, where's your what? What is it? All right, let me see. Where's that side hustle? At? Ah, it's buried. It's yeah, it's buried. buried. That, anyways, too bad. anyways, guys, thanks for joining us on a very special Vaju episode. <laughs> Stop saying Vaju. Yeah, Vaju. You know, you know, it makes it worse. <laughs> Why? Because you're like saying. calling attention to it. <laughs> That's exactly. If you just say Vaj, everyone's Vaj. like, oh whatever, Vaj. Vaj. Oh. Anyway. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, you got that. You got it. Finally. <laughs> Finally. You forgot last week. I think I did, yeah. yeah. But anyway, okay. subscribe. Oh. Smash, Smash that subscribe. It. Oh. Smash the like Now button. it's just... Now it's just. All right. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. We'll see you in a year. Bye.